Ormond MacLeod, the Wicked Man. Ormond MacLeod, Scottish Gaelic. Tormod MacLeod, 1705-1772, also known in his own time, and within clan tradition as the Wicked Man, Scottish Gaelic. And Drock Duine was an 18th century politician and the 22nd chief of Clan MacLeod. Background Norman was the younger son of Norman MacLeod, the 20th chief of Clan MacLeod. Norman's brother, John, was briefly the 21st chief of Clan MacLeod as an infant after their father died in 1706. By 1707, John had also died and Norman was left with the chiefdom at the age of one. Norman was the Member of Parliament for Inverness Shire between 1741-1754. He matriculated arms and supporters at Lyon office on 12 January 1753. He supported the government cause in the Jacobite Rising, and was an absentee chief as he seldom lived at his ancestor's traditional seat of Dunvegan Castle. Jacobite Rising. Norman and his clan supported the government during the 1745 Jacobite Rising. Norman had initially pledged his support for the cause, but as soon as Charles Edward Stuart reached Scotland, he raised several independent companies for the government in 1745. In December, Norman was ordered to march his troops and engage Lord Louis Gordon. Norman left Inverness on 10 December, with about 700 men. On the night of 23 December, he was defeated by a superior force commanded by Gordon at the Battle of Inverary. About 70 of Norman's men were killed, wounded, or captured. Norman and his clan did not take part in the Battle of Culloden. Instead, they and the Macdonalds of Sleet remained on Skye. On 22 April, following the battle, William, Duke of Cumberland, ordered John Campbell, 4th Earl of Loudoun, to march all his men into the highlands and devastate the lands of the men who supported the rebellion. Loudoun then crossed into the mainland with about 500 of his men but was followed by the Macdonalds and Norman, who together had about 1,200 men between them. Several days later, the combined force laid waste to the lands of Grant of Glenmoriston. Norman's men also raided the nearby island of Rasse in the aftermath of the Jacobite failure. The island was the home of the MacLeods of Rasse, who had supported the Jacobite cause and who had been present at Culloden. Norman's men destroyed 32 boats, 300 houses, and killed 1,000 cows, sheep, and horses. Nickname. Norman was known in his own time by the nickname the Wicked Man Scottish Gaelic and Drop Duine. This may be partly because, during his minority, he went through P.S. 60,000 and left his estate a debt of P.S. 50,000. In consequence of this debt, the ancestral clan lands of Harris and Glenel were lost. Another reason for the name is from his part in the Lady Grange affair and the ill treatment to his first wife. In the 20th century, Dame Flora MacLeod of MacLeod, 28th Chief of Clan MacLeod, tried to have his unflattering nickname changed to the Red Man because of the color of the tartan he wears in the portrait painted by Alan Ramsay picture. Another reason for this nickname may be due to Norman's involvement of Soifich Nan Dayin Scottish Gaelic, the ship of the people in 1739, whereby inhabitants in the Isle of Skye were rounded up and planned to be sold into indentured servitude in the American colonies. Family Norman's first marriage was to Janet, daughter of Sir Donald MacDonald of Sleet, 4th Baronet, in December 1724. Norman had his wife live with her mother-in-law and several sisters-in-law at Castle Loud. By 1733, the couple were separated and remained apart from one another for seven years. In 1740, Duncan Forbes of Culloden was able to negotiate a reconciliation between the pair, and she then lived with Norman until her death in 1743. According to tradition, 
Norman brought about Janet's death by locking her in the dungeon of Dunbegin Castle and leaving her to starve there. Through this marriage, the couple had one son and two daughters, John, Emilia, and Anne. Five years after Janet's death, Norman married Anne, daughter of William Martin of Inchfure, and died in 1802. The couple had three daughters, Elizabeth, Anne, and Mary. Norman also had two illegitimate sons, Alexander and Norman. Death. Norman died on 21 July 1772 and was buried in the kirkyard of St. Andrew's Cathedral in St. Andrew's. He was succeeded by his grandson, Norman MacLeod. Ancestry. Equals equals references equals equals.